بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احببت في الله as we've mentioned the mu'min should be concerned with the relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that should be foremost on their agenda and leading their affairs and that we all have a share in this dunya as well and we have to live in this dunya and a dunya dar al-amal wal akhira dar al-jaza that the dunya this life is the place of our deeds of collecting deeds of doing good deeds doing righteousness and the hereafter is the place of reaping the rewards of that so if you used this life for righteousness and khair and used your rizq your provisions for khair then your end result will be khair bi idnillah ta'ala that it will be uh you'll be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you use this dunya for nothing but immersing yourself in sickness and distractions and sinfulness and those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates and what i mean by sickness i mean spiritual sickness those things which make you sicker and sicker for example indulging and lusting after the things that we lust after and indulging and tying our hearts to loving haram So listen to this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam which lets us know that we're going to depart from this life and we're going to leave behind so much everything except except one An Anas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu ala Rasulillah sallallahu alaihi wasallam qala يتبع الميت ثلاثه او يتبع الميت ثلاثه اهله وماله وعمله فيرجع الاثنين ويبقى واحد يرجع اهله وماله ويبقى عمله متفق عليه The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in the hadith of Anas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu He said sallallahu alaihi wasallam The one who dies is followed by three His family His wealth and his deeds and two of them return meaning two of them return from that janaza and one remains his family returns and his wealth returns meaning his wealth leaves him and his family leaves him and his deeds are the only thing that remain with him mutafaqun alayh ahabbi tafillah that shows us again a dunya dar amal that this life is the time it's the place it's the abode for us to do deeds and that when we reflect no matter how much we love our families how much for those who are married that they love their spouse and how much you love your parents and your children that when you die those that remain after you will bi idnillah attend your janaza 
And then they will leave your janazah. And they will begin the healing process in their lives. They have to maintain their lives. They have Life has to go on for them. So they won't always be cognizant of you. They will forget you, although they will still remember you in a general sense in their heart. And they'll still reflect on you. But they will no longer be with you. And perhaps your spouse will remarry and be with someone else, not after having been with you. And time is what allows for people to heal and grow. So your family will depart from you. They, they're not going to go with you to the grave. You've begun your separation in that journey from them. You having departed, being in Al-Barzakh, and may Allah bless us with a comfort in Al-Barzakh with comfort and coolness, Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen, while there in the dunya. And your wealth, people will benefit from your wealth. If you took out debts and loans, perhaps the bank will benefit. They won't care anything about you, nothing. And your wealth will be spent immersed in more riba and more interest and more giving loans or whatever the case may be. Or perhaps your children or others will inherit your wealth. Or per, and your vehicle that you coveted so much, others will be driving it and abusing it and doing whatever they do with it. So your wealth won't benefit you. It won't go with you neither. And your... All you have to look forward to in that situation is your deeds. Your deeds will benefit you. So that's why we have to use this time for righteousness. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with the bad, and bless us with amal salih Things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. Oh Allah, love us and forgive us of our many wicked sins that we do in the day and the night and bless us with a class with the bad and bless us to be of those who practice the sunnah of your messenger Muhammad alayhi salatu wassalam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam